Hi, Cooking Cronies. Today I want to describe a recipe that I made this week and uh, have used it throughout the week making different recipes. So I want to share that with you today. I started off with about a five pound pork roast, boneless pork roast. And I scored the, the fat side, seasoned it with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And meanwhile, I've got a, my large skillet on the stove heating, and I'm adding some olive oil in there so that I can um, sear all sides of my pork roast. So while my pork roast is searing, I started with the fat side down in the, in the skillet. I prepared my uh, slow cooker, and I use the Reynolds slow cooker bags. Um, just makes cleanup so much easier. And so, uh, I prepared my slow cooker. I add a can of Rotel to the, the slow cooker and once my pork roast is done uh, browning on each side, then I'm going to place the roast on the bed of Rotel. So um, once I've placed the roast in the slow cooker, I cover it and cook it on low and I left and went to work. So it cooked all day long. Um, so when I got home, I was kind of tired when I got home and didn't really feel like making anything big from this. So we shredded the pork. We just shredded the whole thing. And I had some um, buns here that I had um, purchased at Sam's Club. And we made, um, I got some barbecue sauce and just took out uh, maybe a couple cups of the of the shredded pork and added the barbecue sauce to it, heated that up, and we put that on the buns. I, as you can see from the picture, I like mustard on my barbecue, and um, we just had that with chips for that evening, and it was delicious. So I've also, uh, I, I still had some leftover pork, and we wanted to... Um, make some fajitas so I had some frozen bell pepper in the freezer um, it was a Kroger brand and I just chopped uh, up an, about mm, half an onion to three quarters of an onion and again put a um, salt and pepper and uh, put in about two cups of the pork roast shredded pork roast into that with um, some ground cumin and just cooked all that together to make some fajitas. And I'll tell you, those were delicious as well. So, you know, if you are if you have a busy lifestyle, you don't have to uh, use your whole roast at once or even throughout that week. You can freeze it in batches and have it for whatever meal you, you want. Um, we even took some pork roast to to camping and um, on our last camping trip and just again added some barbecue sauce to it and and it was just yummy and you know when you're up in the mountains you really don't want to cook a lot you want to just enjoy your day and so uh, it was a perfect meal without being too heavy so I hope you enjoy this easy pork roast recipe I've enjoyed sharing it with you it's very easy. It's not time consuming at all. Um, one thing with the, at the very beginning with the Rotel, but what you can do with that is uh, make a gravy out of it. Just use a little butter with some flour and mix it. And when, you're, when that's all hot and bubbly, add that in there and it thickens it just perfectly. And that makes for a nice sauce over the shredded pork. Or you can, again, you can just cut the pork roast and make some mashed potatoes and gravy and eat that just like that. Um, it's an easy go-to dinner and we love it here and I love the easiness of it. So I hope you have an awesome day. I hope you enjoy our Cooking Cronies website. We sure enjoy sharing recipes with you. Have a wonderful, wonderful week and stay healthy. God bless. Mm -hmm.